everyone! In today's video, I will be sharing with you my seven recommendations for starting your luxury handbag collection. If you think you like the idea, please stay tuned. I promise to keep this video short and sweet, so let me know what you think. Tip number one, don't chuck all your old handbags. The first mistake I made when I started my collection is getting rid of all my old handbags. I had a bunch of Coach and Michael Kors bags that I donated. You will need those bags to rotate and give your new luxury items a break. Also, you might miss those bags or just miss carrying around something that you don't have to worry or think too much about. Rule number two, stick to your favorite brand. When you're new, don't venture off into too many brands at once. A lot of YouTubers and influencers out there may make you feel like you need to buy a bag from every single fashion house. That simply isn't true. You can have a well-rounded collection that covers all your daily and weekly needs from the same fashion house if that is what you want. So when you're new, stick to the brand that you love the most and know the most about. Know your needs and try to buy the bags that satisfy most of your needs. Rule number three, don't fight the classics just because so many people have them. This is a mistake that I made as well. I said to myself, I'm not going to be the person that buys the same handbag that everyone else out there is carrying, like Speedies and Neverfulls, for example. Boy, was I wrong. Classics are classics for a reason. They have the functionality, the design, and the quality to earn that status. They have stood the test of time and can be handed down from generation to generation. They hold their value very well and can be used for several occasions. They never look dated. Try to find the bags that will satisfy your daily and weekly needs and create a solid foundation using those bags. Don't go and buy an evening bag if you're not a person that goes out in the evening too much. Rule number four. Check out how a bag ages on a pre-loved website before you buy it. Look at this bag from 1995 and still going strong. If a bag is only two or three years old and has already lost its shape and has tons of creasing, it's probably not a good buy. Rule number five, don't start your collection with seasonal pieces. They just don't have the quality or the durability to last for year after year. Like for example, Louis Vuitton seasonal pieces a lot of times have chipping on the print. Chanel seasonal pieces a lot of times just don't have the best quality for the price. Timeless iconic pieces always have the best value for money. Rule number six, don't get sucked into SLGs. We all know how cute SLGs can be and their price point is much more friendlier. But you will learn that a few SLGs can quickly add up to a bag. Rule number seven, buy what looks flattering on you. How many times have we all seen a bag on Instagram that looks fabulous on other people but just doesn't look good on us? Take, for example, the huge mini bag trend that's going on currently. It looks great on other people that have more petite frames, but I, for one, could never pull it off. It looks ridiculous on me. When I put a mini bag on, it looks like I'm wearing patchwork. Handbags are just like clothes. Not only should they be functional, but also look flattering. That concludes today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.